Hey guys, Team Natty back here again. Today we're about to go for a run. I'm gonna try running up at OSU on the Scioto Mile Trail that they got there. It was recommended to me by a friend. I've walked it, I've never really ran it. Sounds like a good idea to be running in the New Balance Fresh Foam Beacons version ones. These things have gotten tons of rants and raves online. Um, honestly, I bought these because I just never stopped hearing enough good things about them. And I was like, you know what? I really want to try them out. I've been running the Zante Pursuits. I'm gonna tell you what, I just ran the Zantes the other day for like six or so miles. And honestly, they, um, I just liked them better. They had more snap, they felt lighter, they felt more breathable. That hypo knit is like a sock on the Zantes. It just everything about the Zantes I love. These are still really good. When I put these on, I mean, I'm surprised. You can't really tell, but these things, they look like they'd be chunky and heavy. They weigh next to nothing. It's like holding a feather in my hand. It's, they're so light and that's what's crazy about them. So the first thing that really gets me about these shoes is how light they are. Look at that. It practically floats. This whole thing, it's not, it, it looks really chunky. It's not really heavy. It's not really that chunky, but the amount of cushion that you get is crazy. Like I walk on it and it's like, it's very squishy. It's very nice. It's very comfortable, very cushioning. The only thing about that is though, with me, it's so squishy in my opinion that it takes me a more of a press off with my toes and puts a little bit more strain on my Achilles tendon when I do that. I feel like I have to compensate and I lose a little power, but it is nice, it's really flexible, it's light. I feel like for distance running or for just straight recovery running, you can't beat this shoe because it's just really nice and comfortable when you go for a long while on it. And like I said, super light. Um, I wish that it was more flexible. This like mesh that they got on here is not hot by any means, but it, it feels kind of immobile. It has like its own little snap to you. You can see where it's like starting to crease. And I feel like I can't wiggle my toes. I feel like they're kind of tight in there. Well, I can wiggle my toes with the space, but not like up. Cause it like once it hits this mesh, it only stretches out so far and then it stops. Um, this ground contact foam, I've probably put like 25, 30 miles on this sucker. Uh, and it's already starting to eat up, as you can see. Now, usually like right here is like a high wear spot for me, um, right here too. But this like, these lugs are already kind of chewed up. I've heard a lot of good things about the wear and tear on this thing, but I don't, I'm not, start, I'm starting to not believe it. Like this lug's already almost flattened out and smooth. These lugs are all chewed up and like all like the, I don't know what you'd say, the textured grip pattern on them is like smoothed out and gone. Um, this one, as you can see, it's just kind of starting to smooth out right there. And it's all shredded up and black and it was peeling off. Even after the first run, it was starting to peel off right there, the rubber was. So I'm kind of concerned about the wear on these things. I'm sure it'll last me at least a hundred miles, but it, these things, they're gonna, they're gonna be worn out pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, New Balance Beacons is what I'm running in today. Like them, um, I don't think I like them more than the Zantes though. And I think I'm gonna get, I would, if I were gonna review these shoes right now, if this was a review, like strictly review for the New Balance Fresh Foam Beacon version one, the only one I've tried so far. Got them on sale for like $60 from Amazon, so that was a good deal, but I'm, I'm gonna give them like a, what did I give? I think I give the Zantes a five out of five because I like them that much, or maybe a 4.5 out of five because the rubber on the Zantes wore out a little quick, quicker for me. But for these, I would give them a four out of five. Um, they're good. I don't think they're the best though. They're pretty good, you know? I, I, I was, it was better than expected, honestly, as far as the cushioning goes. Um, these are, these ends are reflective, that's cool. Tongue is nice and soft and cushioned. Um, I've heard some problems about the insole slipping in these. They haven't slipped for me. I went true to size, by the way. So I wear H and uh, wait, wear a size eight and everything. This is a size eight men's US. Um, these ends are reflective. I think I already went over that. This is the fresh foam ground contact. It's a different kind of fresh foam because uh, as many people have said, fresh foam does not, is not um, the same across the board. It's different among every shoe. So uh, yeah. That's my take on the New Balance Beacon. That's what I'm going to be running today. So let's see what we can get into.
What's up guys? Okay, we just got done with a uh, 10 mile run. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a, it was a scorcher out today. I don't, I don't know why I didn't go earlier. I wanted to go earlier, but I decided that laundry and getting chores done around the house and filming the beginning to this video was more important. So of course I got out here like around one o'clock and I think it's like three something right now. So I'm like soaked in sweat, as you can see, like, I don't know if you can see that, but my, my arms are sweaty, okay? My arms are disgustingly sweaty. So much so that when I rested them on my shorts, my shorts now have like giant sweat marks on them. So I'm like disgustingly sweaty. I'm soaked, I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm very thirsty. I brought two 10 ounce water bottles, but that uh, did not do the trick in this heat. One was electrolytes too, so my mouth just got really dry. Um, but yeah, currently walking back to my car and get some water. Just uh, can't wait to get home and smash some food. But it was a good run. It was, uh, like I said, it was really hot. Uh, really wish I would've just wore that sweatband instead of this headband, but it was in the wash. Oh man, what a day. What a day. Soaked 10 mile run in the middle of the day. I just consider the heat a factor of training. It makes you better, it makes you stronger. If you wanna reforge yourself, you need intense heat just like in any forge. And so that's what we're doing today, is pushing ourselves in hard conditions making sure we're ready for this marathon coming up. Sorry if the camera's really shaky, by the way. I'm hand holding my phone after running, so I am really tired. But I'm gonna close the vlog out here. Thank you guys so much. Did this in the beacons. The... Did this in the beacons. They fared pretty well, so. Now you guys take it easy. Team Maddie out.